Hey everybody, this is Music is my vegetables again. This is my second video and this time I I want to discuss a little let's say a close to philosophical question. The philosophical question what is a wave table and do I need it? <laughs> okay. So let's start with the, the, the waveform of a saw wave. A normal saw wave waveform. Okay, we have this one. We all know this, it's a saw wave. This is the uh, the picturing of this is two dimensional. I can change this in this sense vital to three dimensional picturing, and we can see that the waveform also in three dimensions is always the same. Wherever you go in this three-dimensional model of the wave, you have the same waveform. So everywhere you play it, it sounds the same. It is the same. Okay. Now, This is a normal waveform. Now let's come to wavetable. A wavetable in two dimensions looks like this. It's a waveform, nothing else than this saw wave a little bit more difficult but a waveform if we now go to three dimensions we will see that there is depicted a, a kind of landscape and when i scroll through this landscape we see that the waveform changes So, it looks, or it is, a landscape and the waveform changes wherever in this landscape I am. But, when you press a key, you only hear one waveform at the same time. So here you hear this waveform. A little bit further you hear this waveform. A little bit further you hear this waveform. A little bit further this and so on and so on. That means that a wavetable is nothing else, all of you will know this, is nothing else than the continuous summation of, of waves. It is not the case that you hear the wave, the whole three-dimensional wave uh, landscape at the same time. So the, uh, the, the picturing of it is three-dimensional and it looks like a three-dimensional 
a, a waveform and it is but you cannot hear all those waveforms at the same time so the question is is this three-dimensional in space or is it two-dimensional in space plus one dimension in time because here we have two dimensions wide and high okay this wave we are listening to here we listen to this wave and so on i showed you if i want to use the whole wave table in somehow i have to make this wave move through the wave table for example by adding an lfo to the position if now this happens sure but what happens you need time to go by to use the whole wave table so the wave table is not really three-dimensional in space but two-dimensional in space plus one dimension in time you cannot use all the three dimensions at the same time only when time passes okay so that means this is a, a kind of modulation and nothing else so if i have a kind of modulation going on and, and nothing else so the question is do i need a wave table and i think no you don't need a wave table and i show you this is uh, excuse me i have to make this to none once again here we start with this with the same with this sawtooth wave we have another oscillator no problem okay if we uh, show it in three dimensions it is the same oscillator all the way up the same waveform okay if now i put some modulation to it for example i put an inharmonic stretch here the waveform changes if i put, go to 3d the waveform is the same all the way okay but if now i take another lfo and put it to here waveform changes like in a wave table and i can show you this it only takes place in one spot but the changes happening are the same As if I would have a wave table where the wave slips through the three-dimensional uh, graphic I don't need the third dimension 
it is maybe it's nice to to watch to, to look at but i don't need it if i just take this one and i the waveform changes as if it would slip through a wave table landscape but it, there is no wave table landscape so I think that's my conclusion. I think you don't need wave tables. I think you can create everything what is possible in a wave table with other modulations of normal waveforms, two-dimensional waveforms. I hope I did not bore you and I wish you a nice day. Goodbye.